Welcome to today's Technical Corner. I'm with James from Sandvik Coloman. And James, we're going to be discussing something a little bit different today. People associate your company, obviously, with cutting tools, but we're going to be discussing um, design and planning. So tell me about this. What does this entail? Well, I mean, as you say, Gio, we are a cutting tool company. We've been designing and manufacturing cutting tools for many, many years. But we've actually seen a bigger shift now of where we need to support not only in the machine, but also as we go back further upstream into the CN or into the CAD CAM environment. So we've got cutting data um, apps for your phone, so Tool Guide, and it's a really great app. 20,000 different materials in there, and it gives you starting values here, speeds, feeds, different materials, and also helps you choose the right tools for the job. And then, as we move further in, we also have now the ISO database of models for the tools. So you can actually build a tool assembly up within a matter of minutes, and it's an open database. As long as people subscribe to the ISO 13399 catalog, you can incorporate their catalog into it. So firstly, when you say it's an open database, does that mean it's free? It's free. Right. So secondly, how does this, you know, you know, this information, this app, how does this benefit your customers? How can they use it to be more productive? Well, for a start, it's available 24/7. So if somebody's in a machine shop on a Sunday evening and they don't know what speed and feed to run in the material, turning, milling, drilling, simply go on the app and they get the data there, live in their hands, so they can start machining there and then. Is this data just for your tooling? It's our tooling, it's our speed and feed recommendation for our grades and inserts, that's for sure. Yeah. And in regards to design, you know, give me an example of where the design aspects come into this. So if you're looking to, if you're in the environment, you've got your model in your, in your database, you can actually build your tools up now. So 3D models, bring the 3D model in, build the tool assembly up, in a couple of clicks of a button, ready there, and you can export that out into your um, CNC, out so into your NC program. It's modeling the tools that you're going to be using and, and creating a program. Yep, so you can model your tools, check for collisions, run them through. You can really just check that everything's clear, fixturing, tooling wise, lengths, and so on. So not only can you kind of gather the information that you need to get the right feeds and speeds, you're also creating CAD programs with your tools embedded into them. Now, in regards to, again, efficiency and savings in time, give me an example how this saves time. If I was typically talking about building a model up, so a back end, an extension, and a milling cutter on the front, for argument's sake, inherently that would take normally 15 minutes, bring it in, orientating the different bits, putting them together. Because it's built on an ISO database, you just pull them in, they know where the connection points are, click them together, it's literally two minutes. So if you think about, say you had 100 tools to do, that would be typically, it could be 25 hours, whereas two minutes, 25 tools, you're less than an hour. So you saved a whole day. So effectively, you're saving people a lot of time through the work that you've put into this, you know, and you're doing this for your customers to, 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 to work together and become a solutions provider? Yeah, I mean, we want people to be really getting the most out of their machines and actually cutting metal right from the off. So mm. if we can reduce that time to get that out, that's what we're here for. Is this also tool optimization? You know, if, if you're getting the right data for your tool, you're going to be able to use that tool to its, its full capabilities? Yeah. The data we put in there are productive starting values. So they are not overly ambitious in the speed and feeds, but they will cut and remove metal at a good rate, but a secure and reliable, robust process. And for any end users that have watched this technical corner, how can they download the app? Just go on to into your app store, search for iFind, Sambit Coromant app, there it is. Thanks, James. And that's it for this week's Technical Corner, Design and Planning from Sanvik Coromant.